we're going to have a go at recovering these headliners for the old African Queen. Now, because the African Queen doesn't have to be a top quality job, well, we're using what's left that's available. We haven't got that much. So, I've got the headliner. Um, and of course, they're, they're typical, typically finished, but well, flappy like an old Bedouin tent. No good at all. So, remove your cover and just be careful because there's lots of little staples under it. The tack well, they, they tacked them on. So, you know, just, just pry it back. And you'll find out, I'll show you on the one corner here, what is the problem. Let's take this down a bit. You know, you see they're all flappy. You see, when you get into them, it's, it's not the material that's the problem, it's the foam underneath. You see, it's all deteriorated, look at that. But you can't stick this back on, it won't go. So let me take this material off and I'll show you what we, how we prep up the panel. So I've got all the staples out of this and look at that, we didn't even have to, we didn't even have to take it off. Jim's here at the moment but he's having his coffee. So. Now, again this is what I was trying to explain. It's not the glue that gives up, it's the foam. It just, look at it, there's nothing left of it. So what you want to do next, get rid of that, then to get rid of any existing uh, form, stiff nylon brush, push it, and it all comes off. And it doesn't damage the panel. Don't use a wire brush. This is funny stuff. It's, I don't know, it's like, a, it's like a fabric, isn't it? It's like recycled uh, cloth. Yeah. You know. If it was plastic, it was a molding. Oh, it'd be very easy. Anyway, we've got to get on with that. This section of headliner here was sort of held on with contact adhesive in different places, just streaks all over the place. And it doesn't really come off with a, uh, a brush like Jim's using now. But we found out with a grinder, with a fine, uh, this is an 80 grit, uh, just run it over the contact adhesive that's hard and it'll warm it up and it'll just flick off out the way so that's good so that we're all just about ready now you'll notice this um, liner here the backer has got a hole in it for a sunroof well, we haven't got a sunroof in our car so and we've got no other parts to do so what we're going to do is we're going to use a bit of hardboard at the back of this and um, staple it and glue it so that we uh, can use this. Now it's, it's going to have an indentation where the sunroof is in, but it's better than we've got. We've got nothing at all to work with. And at $2,000 for a new headliner, I think it's going to be worth it to just to use this, these old parts up and we'll do everybody a favor. Because I get rid of these old parts and they're happy with the African Queen that at least it's got something presentable. So next thing, let's patch that hole. So as you can probably see, we've, we've put a piece of uh, hardboard over the hole and stapled it all the way around uh, and it's nice and tight. We, used, we did try a bit of adhesive, contact adhesive, but it was soaking in so bad that it wasn't really worth it. So now, we're going to cover it up, I think. And, uh, so you're going to see a bit of a lip, but hey, better than nothing, better than a hole. So now it's time to prepare our material. We're just using a generic headliner from North America because we haven't got any of the nice um, original type material. Uh, we've patched up the roof, the, the, the hole in the sunroof, and um, we've measured 40 inches for the first piece. And the next thing we do, well, let's get this headliner. So, we measure halfway, we put a line halfway, and then, with the material, we fold the material in half. So the fold is going to go in the middle here, so we work this way and that way. Don't start at one end and come to the other end, because you might find it's too short. Right, so, what are we up to next? You've got to mark up the middle. You've got to mark up the middle? 
Yeah. This won't go through, will it? No. Shouldn't do. So Jim's putting a mark on to line up with the mark on the um, the centre mark that we put on the headliner. That's it. So the next thing, we put this on the top like this. Now we're going to move the camera a bit because we've, we're uh, working on the far end of the table so we don't get blue everywhere. So that's how we lay it out. And it's just long enough. It's just to say long enough. The, the material's uh, 60 inches wide. When we come to, I think it's the middle panel we had a bit of a trouble with the ends, didn't we? I think so. It's really close, but they drop into the gutters, so you don't really see that. So the next thing, yeah, you've got to. So you've got to centre it this way, and you've also got to centre it that way, so that you've got a bit of overhang. Always cut it a little bit longer than you need. But 40 inches for the front panel seems to be right. Looks good. So, next thing, we're going to use our... We've got it on the floor down there, we haven't knocked it over yet. Our weld wood contact adhesives, very, very good stuff. And we're going to put it on with uh, spray gun. Now we're going to use our high volume, low pressure spray gun because this really lays the glue on very, very thick. But remember, once you're finished, wash your gun out because you'll be all glued up. So let's, um, let's start on that then, eh? Yep. Right. I'll, I'll put some glue in here and we'll get going. Make sure there's no little bits of... Yeah, no bits on the material. Um, yeah. Alright. So we're just about to spray using the high volume, low pressure gun. Well, I wanted to show you the things that we're going to roll it out with. Um, this is, this, I think these are for doing asphalt, aren't they? You know, like driver air repair. But they're a big, fluffy uh, roller. Now, we usually use this one nice and fluffy because it won't make any marks but we found out that this was tipping uh, because it's, there's only one you know the handles on this end whereas this one's on both ends so it should get nice and even also I've just been to the shop to try and find a, a smaller roller for these these type of rollers but all we could find was this one but it'll do and we'll show you what happens so we're going to move those out of the way before it gets all covered in glue we're going to start to apply some glue in this corner over here. So, off we go. That's the instant. Yep. Nice. fast, you can, you can probably see how it's absorbed very quickly. We well, might have to do this. two coats on this. I think it will. Let that flash off. Yeah. You want to move it across that way a bit, Jim? This is alright for one coat, isn't it? I think that's good for one coat. That's good coat. for one coat. And we just want to make sure we get in all the Yeah, bit all bit. the time. Because it'll absorb, so we're going to use the first coat as a barrier, and then we'll put another coat on once that's tacked off. So what we've had to do is uh, prime up these panels because they're so absorbent, they're sucking up the the glue. So we've we've give this a quick coat, and it's it's gone off now. It's like the gym there is not sticking to it. So now we can we're going to give this one coat because this is easy. This doesn't absorb all that much. And then 
because we've already got a layer on, of glue on there, it won't absorb and then we can put it together. You, you'll understand. So, let's glue. Let's glue that Confidence. Right. Yeah, there's just that bit there. Isn't there? Yeah. We can hold it up, can't we? Yep. Right. Yeah. Perhaps you can see now the pattern. How things, how, how evenly the fragrance puts the glue on. If you were to do this with cans, we were just chatting about this. We could need so many cans. It'd be unbelievable. So Jim's now is going to flip this round. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. The important thing is not to get any glue on your finished surface, isn't it? Just leave like these bits here. Yeah, that fold that in. Really, it's sort of really important to put a nice even coat of glue on and you are going to use a lot so if you're thinking about getting cans to do this like aerosol cans get quite a few in because it does the material is very absorbent and we'll use quite a lot so now I'm going to stick it down there. I'm going to flip it over you get the roller I'm going to hold it which roller are we going to use the big one real choice the roller is I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I'm going to hold it, position it. Right. And start the middle. Wait a minute, let me just. Yeah, good. Go on. Give it a little pull. We're okay. Yep, we're good. Look on the edges. Yep. Let's lift that corner up there, Jim. This is a good roller. Ooh. Look at that, there's no stripes in there at all, look. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like this one. It's, like a, it's like a Rolls Royce. Ooh. A Rolls Royce. <laughs> right, I'll come up this side. Yeah, all right. We've got a poke in there. Just pull that in a bit. That's it. There. Yeah, that is it. It's most important not to... Uh, when you're rolling it out to roll it even, because if you get a bubble in it, once it's stuck, you'll never get it out. Mm. Now these front bits are tricky, aren't they? Mm. Right into there. No, I can't get it in that one. I think we used our fingers to. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Yeah, that. Are you sure that? Can I think Yeah, yeah. No, no. You may have to do it. Well, that's fine. You might have to do this two or three times when you're pushing these oh, bits in. Yeah, put it here. Yeah? You want, put it. you want to pull it? It's uh, very difficult to see, isn't it? Yeah. But I think if you push that in, Jim, I think that's going to work. I don't want to do it with my hands. I've got glue everywhere. I missed it a little bit here, that. I put a lot of glue in there. That's good. Just a bit here. And there. I think 
I think there's, it's still a bit soft, isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's do the other side. Right. We'll come back to that because it might be just a bit too green. Yeah, that's true. Because we've had that problem before. On here somewhere, there's an indentation here. Ooh, you can push that in? Yep. There should oh, be one yeah, here as well. That's all right. Yeah. And that's for the mirror. Mm -hmm. So like I say, we'll come back to that. Yeah. We'll flip this over. Okay, now yeah, we're aware of that as well now. Yeah. Is, uh, so we'll put plenty of... Oh, uh, so we've got to let this flash off, haven't we? No, this, this, this should be alright because it's dry now. Oh, no, we didn't no, do, did, no, no, we didn't no, do this one, that's right, yeah. We did the other ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to prime this panel up. Because this was our first... But when was the last one we did of this? Been a while. Been a while, you forget. If we did them every week, it'd be a different thing, wouldn't it? If we did them so, every week, we'd be pretty damn good at it. We'd be excellent. So I'm going to put some uh, glue on this. Yeah, right. The middle right. section that we're going to do here, it's critical that we mark up the centre halfway this way and halfway that way because we're going to run out, we get very right. close to running out of material. But we come up, we follow our centres. Yeah. So you mark your, mark your material and mark your headlining and then it sh it should, we should have enough. Should. There's, there's one of them that's short, I'm not... It might be that. The other end, I'm not really sure. So that's going to go nice. So now we can... You can see our dotted lines on the, on the fabric. You can probably see them quite clearly in the middle and across there. So we line those lines up and then... We shouldn't be uh, going too far wrong. The, the last thing you want to do is start at one end, work your way across to the other and find out you're two inches too <coughs> short. Rookie, rookie mistake, Jim. Right, so let's uh, spray this one up. We've already primed the backerboard. I think that's, that's its correct name, isn't it? The backerboard. See where it was glued. Um, do you want to hold this? Oh no, we'll flip it round. Corner pieces, these these bits here they are not very difficult to do. Let's put some... So we'll do the same thing, I'll hold it and yeah. I'll... I'll get the roller. Roll. Man, it's getting through some glue. I think we used half a half a gallon of glue. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start in the middle. Yeah, and, and, and I'll let you go on then. Good. There we go. 
Right, I'll start in the middle here. Yeah. You know, Jimmy, I think we've done this before, eh? <laughs> That's the easy bit. Just <laughs> these little corners here. Yeah. Stick, yeah, yeah we're in that zone, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, we're, we're in. Right, let's see where that's not here. Yeah, I think we're, once they're flashed off, they're already right, right, right. right. Yeah, right now, this is a little tricky bit. Yeah, do you want me to go? Uh, get right into that little area there, that's it. Right. I don't know if I can get. Without using the pinkies. Yeah, okay. The other. I'm just, hey, yeah. I'm just a dirty old man this afternoon. Yeah. That's gone nice. We've got enough. We're okay. We're just okay. Just. Yeah, just. But yeah. we don't see this bit here, do we? Wait a minute. No, you don't, because that drops into the. This bit, you, you can see how close we are there, look. Yeah. It's really tight. And that's what we're going to what, What's this? 60, this width. Yes. Because I think on the discos you need 64. Yeah. And that's hard to find, isn't it? Because you remember when we ordered this stuff up, this, we, we ordered it at 64. And it, didn't, it wasn't 64 though. It wasn't 64. This, anyway, I think we got our money back, didn't we? Some, some of the side, didn't we? Got some. I think we got this. Look, actually, we've got a good one here. Just here. Just there. Yeah, that's worked out nice. This one's worked out good, huh? This one just. That's good. Yeah, that's going to go good. I think you need to, you know, it's... Just there. Yeah. All right. We'll clean that bit off a bit of... Uh... That might blow off. Yeah, I think it'll blow off. It's just a bit of this. Just there. Just there. That's good, that's good. All right, good, good, good. Are ready? Just there. When you stand back, you can see. Wait a minute, this will, this will be Trump again. <laughs> so what we're doing here, we're, uh, we're, stapling, we're stapling the edge. We're using some very fine, small staples. And then once that's down, we'll just trim this edge off. So we don't really need to double glue it, do we? Nope. And it pulls it really nice and tight. It's not coming through at all. No, and it makes it a faster job, doesn't it? Yep. And we're putting them in at an angle just to make sure it doesn't yep. go through. So we're going to do this with all the, the panels. We've got them laid out down there. There's a little bit of water on the floor. That's not too much of a problem for those. Uh, they're looking quite nice. So all, the, all we need to do is go around them and fold the edges over and that's it. Now you might have noticed we haven't put um, uh, any interior light fittings into them. That's because <laughs> it doesn't work anyway so nobody's going to be driving this car during the night. Uh, normally we'd, we'd put um, a hole in here and one in this one here. This is the back one. But we're not going to bother. That, so. That's it, so we'll come back to this once we get um, all finished up and trimmed up. So we got the headlining in. It's not too bad. Um, we've got a few finger marks and things like that we've got to clean off, but Jim and I were just discussing what a pain they are to do because the material that we've, we've got available here isn't really good. Now, we haven't put any raw rivets in here yet, so that's why it's sort of dragging down a little bit. We haven't got the side trims in yet, but it's better than it was. It looks an original Land Rover, but um, I don't know. We, we, Jim and I, we weren't too happy. I think it's, I think what it is, it's the backing material, the backer board, isn't sort of even. It's, it's very absorbent in places and glue dries or it doesn't stick and 
there's nothing uniform but it's in and it's done once we get the side trims on I think it'll look kind of okay but until then um, I don't know uh, I've always been trying to find a solution for these headlinings <laughs> funnily enough where the sunroof goes it doesn't look too bad <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the best bit but you can see I probably can see here there's sort of little bubbles and things like that which well okay it's not too bad it's not the end of the world better than it was but uh, at least you can see through the alpine windows now but um, anyway so that's that um, we, I don't try to do headlinings commercially because we've been through this time and time again it's just that I've had these these backer boards here I've had them in stock and I want to get rid of them and I thought it would kill two birds one stone better than it was I keep repeating myself but I don't know we'll see I'm sure they'll be happy with it <laughs> they'll have to be because I'm not taking it out again and that's the one thing about this material once it's stuck you can't go back and take it out again it's it's on you can't pull it off and it will not come off I know that for sure we've had we covered these many years ago and they were they'd never came down but like the material costs and things like that it pushes a price up way up like I think we've used half a gallon of glue half a gallon it's just unbelievable where it goes but anyway making your Land Rovers better well maybe <laughs> it's it's a lot better than it was that's all we can say so we'll we'll uh, We'll see you in the next video. Bye.